I suppose I shouldn't be surprised at your success. You beat me. Perhaps you can do this after all. It hardly matters now. I've certainly been mistaken about you before. Do you want something? I suppose I have a moment. He was my friend. If he'd wanted to conquer the Fade, I would have led the charge. There are men who inspire such devotion that everyone around would lay down their lives for him. And there are men who would come and go from this world, and no one notes it. What makes them so? Your guess is as good as mine. Merrick was remarkable. That's all I can say of him. I was hunting, well, poaching, to be entirely honest, when a boy my own age came stumbling out of the woods. He was so dirty, you'd have thought he'd been dug up out of the ground. The traitorous bootlickers who'd just murdered the Queen, though I didn't know it at the time. He was bloody, exhausted, and obviously being hunted. I offered to take him to my father's camp. That's a story for another time, I'm afraid. I've gone on too long as it is. He nearly did. Merrick was never one to avoid his duty. And given his preference, he would have acknowledged his son no matter the circumstance. But he had more than his honor to think of. It would have ruined Rowan, after all. She'd be reduced to a concubine in the eyes of our neighbors and put Kalen's status as heir in question. So Merrick made the hard choice. Eamon offered to raise the boy, and that was that. Kings don't get the luxury of escaping politics. But we've been idle long enough. We should get moving. Of course.